Scale is the enemy of espresso machine boilers. It can clog plumbing and reduce heating efficiency, resulting in problems like slow or no brew water flow and poor steaming performance. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLotTheyLove.com. One of the leading causes of espresso machine problems? Yeah, it's scaling. Mineral deposits that form inside espresso machine boilers and their plumbing. So today, a method for determining if your water has characteristics that may cause scale to form. So, going to get a little technical here and take a look at how to use the L'Angelier Saturation Index, or we'll just call it LSI, to determine the scaling potential of the water going into your espresso machine. Now, if geeky isn't exactly your thing, there are a couple ways around it. First, just use a proper water filter on your equipment and do some regular descaling. Uh, another option is to make your own brew water that meets the Specialty Coffee Association standards. Use the link up here for my video that shows you how to do that by remineralizing distilled or pure reverse osmosis water. Incidentally, the make your own option results in water with a very low scaling potential. So here's an online LSI calculator, which I've linked to in the description of this video. It's very easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how, of course. What you need to use it are five pieces of information. Water temperature, pH, TDS, which is total dissolved solids, the calcium level and alkalinity level of your water. After we plug in the numbers, the calculator will give us an idea of how likely scale is to form. So the easy and free way to get your numbers is to contact your water provider or check their website. That's what I did. The numbers I needed were buried in a non-obvious link, so I called the local water authority and they helped me find them. Now, most water providers in the U.S. should have this information available, so check their website or give them a call. If you can't get it from your water provider or want to know exactly what's coming out of your tap in a future video, I'll show you how to test it yourself or maybe get someone to do it for you, maybe even for free. Here's a list of my numbers, so let's plug them into the LSI calculator. For temperature, I'm going to use 264 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put it in in Celsius there as well. Now, that's the temperature my steam boiler is set to, and you want to use the highest temperature your boiler might reach. My average pH is 7.5, total dissolved solids, average 188 parts per million. My calcium level is 34 milligrams per liter, which is measured as the ion, so I'm selecting the CA2 plus radio button here. The other option there is a measure of calcium hardness as CaCO3, that's calcium carbonate, so be sure to use the right one. And finally, my alkalinity is 88 milligrams per liter. With all the numbers in, really simple, I just press calculate now and my LSI comes in at plus 0.94. Looking at the chart, I can expect some mild scale coating and the general recommendation is treatment may be needed. So based on the results, my tap water is likely to cause some minor scale but unlikely to cause major scale problems with proper treatment. Now, Keep in mind the LSI is just an indication of scaling potential. Things could turn out differently in real world use. But based on the results, my plan is as follows. For a super automatic espresso machine, I'd use the manufacturer recommended water filter. They, of course, contain carbon for chlorine removal and softening to reduce the hardness a bit and prevent scale. The thermoblock boilers and super automatic machines, yeah, they have very narrow passages. Scale buildup in those can seriously affect performance and, left unchecked, can cause premature machine failure. For semi-automatic machines, a couple of options. For a plumbed-in prosumer level machine, I'd go with an inline cartridge system using the BWT Best Max Premium Filter. It has the carbon filtration for chlorine removal, but its real benefit is a patented ion exchange section which replaces excess calcium with magnesium. This process reduces water hardness without adding sodium, which is what happens with most every other water softening filter or system. With proper use, the BWT Best Max Premium System provides a mineral level that maintains flavor without causing scale buildup. Use this filter and you never have to descale your machine. It protects your investment, gives you peace of mind, and of course, great tasting espresso. 
For a reservoir fed machine, I'd use the BWT Best Save M anti scale filter. Very easy to use, just drop in your machine's reservoir and you are good to go for about two months. It takes care of chlorine with carbon and has that same patented calcium magnesium ion exchange technology used in their inline premium filter. If you'd like to learn more about the BWT filter systems, use the link up here. With their ion exchange technology, they really are the best in the business. Again, that link for the LSI calculator is in the video description or you can find it right here. If you search for an LSI calculator, be aware many you find may not allow for input of the higher temps found in espresso machine boilers. As always, use those comments if you have any questions and I'll be sure to get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and I hope to have you back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.